Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to install SOLIDWORKS 2024. First of all, you have to download the link that uh, I will be giving to you like uh, this on the video description. And then once you download it, you have to take out the files from the zip. You can use WinRAR or like you can use the uh, software that Windows has itself. And then all you need to do is you have to go to solid squad folder and take out that one as well. And then once you get into the solid squad folder right now over here you have SOLIDWORKS 2024 network serials licensing. So you have to open that one. You just need to say yes and then it successfully added to the registry and then you say OK and then you have this SOLIDWORKS FlexNet server you need to copy that one or let's see let's show it this way like copy and then go to computer and then go to C I have already installed the you know this flexnet server that's why i have that one but I, I can change it so i just changed it because if you have 2023 or like you know previous versions you have to install with the latest version and then once you copy that one to here and then you have over here server install right click and run it as a you know admin and then when you click it's starting and now started just press any key and now it's done and right now we have to we can close that one we are going back to folder that we downloaded and then double click to this image file and then we will be just starting setup okay now we came to here we will just saying that like you know next it can take some time we are just saying next And then when you have over here, as you can see, like, you know, like estimated, like, you know, uh, size of the installation, it shows 942 megabyte. So it, it, it shows that like we are not installing the whole product. So what we have to do, we have to click that one products change. And over here you can choose different packages. And as you can see right now, it's 24 gigabyte. This is the common issue that when you install SOLIDWORKS, you are not choosing those, you know, packages. So that's why you are not able to change it. Like when you install, you don't have anything actually. And once you choose, like, you know, the packages that you want, you can change different language, like, you know, Italian, German, French, or like whatever you want. And then you go back, go back there and then you just need to accept the you know agreement and then this is also important point that this you know connection point and like you know uh, this local host it must be like that exactly over here so make sure that you have also that one over there and then click OK uh, it says that I don't have, you know, Excel, Microsoft Excel, so it cannot make, you know, reports or something. This is not something so important right now. When you click OK, it will start. It will take some time. It's up, like, it's up to your computer and, like, you know, specs. It can be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or, like, 20 minutes if your computer is really bad. I will be back when, once it's, you know, it's ready. Uh, just for any information, if you get that kind of stuff, 
when you are installing it just don't worry it will take some time and you will see a couple of times like that right now it's because of the sql server it's installing like you know it will just take some time it will continue okay now everything is done we are not choosing that one and we are choosing like you know rewind me later and then we are ending it it says like you know before you start the product uh, restart your computer i will put like you know restart like you know later okay when you are when you when you're done with this you are going to you know task manager and you will look if you have solidworks uh, exa or something like that over here if you don't have there is no problem but as you can see i have over here so i will just you know uh, stop it and then we are done with it okay and then we are going to our computer computer local disk c and then program files and then you will be looking for solidworks folder and then you will find over here solidworks pdm and then you will go to web okay if you have for example here stored uh, prox dll or something like that you have to you know rename it but uh, if you don't have it's also okay but you will have to check if you have or not both of the you know folders like uh, inside of this install folder or just you know next to this network p32 dll but if you don't have everything is okay okay and then we are done with this so we can go back to our solid squad folder again this is the one that we took out and then uh, we will be just copying this one like copy and then as you can see we will go to our computer local disk c and then again program files you will look for solidworks folder again one more time okay we are just choosing all of them because you know when i take like that it will not work because i went inside of the folder but you can just copy that folder inside of this program files as well it will also work but in this case i will copy them from here like that so i will be just copying inside like just paste it and change all of them okay now we have everything and then we are going back to our you know like crack folder and then solid squad loader enable and then you will just choose years okay it's successfully added to the registry and then you will be just like you know restarting your computer and once you are done with this you will be trying to open the solidworks but in this case i will be just trying without you know uh, opening my like restarting without restarting my computer let's see if it will work okay now we got couldn't obtain a license for solidworks standard so let's restart the computer and then let's come back again okay guys i just restarted my computer and i still got that like you know the same error and then if you get the same error you, i already uploaded one video this is inside of my like you know on my profile if you go to videos and if you look for this video it will also fix for 2024 you will just have to you know do the same steps and then it will work and let's try together if it will work for us or not
Just accept. It's starting SolidWorks. At the beginning, it can take some time. It's up to your computer spec. As I told you, I have quite old computer, so it takes longer for me. Let's see, like for example. And also those, you know, add-ins, like, you know, it takes some time with this. Yeah, as you can see, everything is working. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any problem or if you have any questions, you can just put a comment. I will be trying to help you. And see you on the next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.